Hey, my name is Jesus Castello, and in this video, you're going to learn how to build Ruby web applications without Rails. I'm going to show you three different ways to do that. And the first way is to use a different framework. Instead of Rails, you can use another framework like Sinatra. So Sinatra is a lot simpler, a lot easier to use because you don't need to create views or controllers or models or routes, none of that. The only thing you need is one file and this little bit of code right here. So to use Sinatra, it's a gem, so you will need to install it, gem install Sinatra. Then you require it like this. And here is the actual code. What's going on in here? Well, this is the get method, and this is the path. So this is the root path, and this is a block. And inside the block, you put the data, the string, the text that you want to return. In this case, I'm returning the text, hello there. How do you start a Sinatra application? Well, you open a terminal and then you type the name of the file just like a regular Ruby program. Now it's running and it says listening on localhost 4567. You can copy this and open your browser in this case, I have Firefox, and we just type that, and we get hello there. And if I type something else, like for example, users, we get this because we haven't defined anything for users or for login or any other URL, right? To change this, we have to go back to our code and create another of these get blocks. So if you want users, we are going to do slash users. And then in here we can change the text if we want, uh, user list. And then very important, you have to restart the application. So you control C to stop it, and then you run it again. And it's always the same URL unless you make some configuration change. So we can go to the browser, reload, and there is our new text for the user's URL. Now we get user list on users, and hello there on the root of the application, right? So that's Sinatra, as you can see, easy to use, and that, that will be your first choice if you want to build a Ruby application, a web application without Rails. What are other choices? Let me show you two more. Below Sinatra, we can find Rack. What is Rack? Rack is the glue between the web server like Finn or Puma or Unicorn. So the Ruby application web server, the Ruby web server, and the framework, the framework like Sinatra or Rails. And it's the glue between these two things. The, they communicate using the rack, which is the interface how they talk to each other, right? So that's rack. And the thing that we can do here is to use Rack without using Sinatra. We can use Rack by itself. And uh, that will be another way to write a web application without Rails and also without Sinatra in this case, because Rack can be used by itself. To write a Rack only application, you will need this code right here as an example. The important thing is that the method name is call. It has to be call. And it takes one parameter, env, which stands for environment 
that's what EMV is. And then the important part, the most important part is this array with three elements. First element is the response code. So this is the HTTP response code. This will be what we are returning to the user. For example, 200 is the okay code, meaning everything is working, everything is correct. This is what you requested, here it is, no errors, right? That's 200. Then you have other codes like 404, which means not found, or the 500 error, the 500 codes, which are for errors or server level errors. So that's a status code and you have to choose which one you want to return for this request. Then you have a hash and this hash is for the headers. The headers are things like the content type. So in here you have to say if you're returning HTML, if you're returning plain text, if you're returning CSS, if you're returning JSON, all of that goes in here. And there are other HTTP headers, which you can also add in here if you want or if you need them. And finally, we have this array, which is the content itself, the, 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 which is the content itself, the content that we want to return to the user, the content that the user will see. So that's the free part array that you have to put inside the call method. And then to use the rack application, you have to go to your terminal. And this time you are going to be doing something different. Instead of Ruby, you need to call rack app. And then you need to call your rack application like this. And notice that it has to end in RU, this is important. Otherwise, uh, rack it will not recognize your file as a rack application. So make sure it ends in RU. And then we can start this and we get a different URL. Let's go to Firefox and there it is. That's the text that we have in here. Now notice something important with Sinatra. If we went to users, we got an error, right? Because users was not defined. But in here we can go to any URL, we can go to bacon, we can go to cat, any URL, even random numbers. And we still get the same thing. Why? Because rack does not care about URLs. That's something for the application to manage, right? So Rack we return by default the same data to every URL. But we can change this from this code by getting access to the path to the URL. And then we can return different things based on that. So let me show you an example of how that works. So here's the code. We are using the rack request um, class and that uh, gives you an object where you can get information about the request, the request the user made. Uh, this information includes things like the URL, the path, right? And here what I'm doing is checking if the path includes the number one to three. If it does, then I will return this. I will return the code 200 and I will return some plain text, which is the same as thing we had before, hello world. Else, if it doesn't match this, we return 404 and with any headers or any content. Now, if I stop, I restart the application. I stop it and start it again. We can reload the browser. And as you can see, we get an empty screen, an empty page. But if I go to slash one, two, three, we get our hello world again. If 
I go to something else, orange, we get again a 404 not found, right? Why? Because this, for, because this if a statement right here. And of course, you can expand this and you can have multiple, you can check for multiple URLs. This is how you would create your rack application. Now, there is one more way you can do this. And there is one more level below this, even more basic than this. And that's without rack. And to do that, I don't have a code example because it's quite involved. There is a lot going on. And that's to write your own web server. I have uh, an article on my site where you can see an example. But there is a lot going on inside a web server, right? So there is a lot of work. But that's the level below this if you're wondering uh, how that works. So that's three ways to write a web application in Ruby with four rails. One, Sinatra, which is what I would recommend. Then Rack, and then writing your own web server. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a like so I know that you like this video. If you want to keep learning, visit my website rubyguides.com and sign up to the newsletter so I can send you my best content to help you keep improving your Ruby skills. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.